the intersection of Interstate 44 and Missouri 13 in Springfield, Missouri. Congratulations. First, Divergent Diamond Interchange is indicated by the sun. As we, as we progress through the intersection and beside the gas stations, we have our directional panels on the overhead sign. Traffic that wants to go east on 44, of course, goes ahead and makes a right turn. If you want to continue through, northbound on 13. Or if you want to go west on 44, you're going to proceed through the two-phase signal and across the bridge, crossing over to the left side with a pedestrian median in the middle, protected by a jersey barrier on either side. Of course, we have our pedestrian treatments here for blind pedestrians with our raised truncated domes. As we proceed northbound across the bridge, we can see here's the divergence point. Northbound traffic here, and now proceeding to make a crossover maneuver, making an S turn to the left, proceed across the left side of the bridge, right inside us here with a semi truck, proceeding to go and make a right turn on the Interstate 44. So here we can see our traffic has to obviously diverge. We got through traffic diverging to the left. Traffic going eastbound on 44 is diverging to the right. Pedestrians, of course, have access here across the sidewalk, walking along the side of the, of the right turn of the free right. Marked by the very large pedestrian signs. That makes it very obvious. Crossing the free right lane is up to the will of the pedestrian. Pedestrian, check left. Check right. And again, we have the truncated domes. And as we proceed uh, to the interior of the island, you notice how the islands have this wonderful, uh, beautiful red ornate treatment on the brick, giving a nice decorative look. At the pedestrian crossing here, we've got a signal with the pedestrian push button here. If we push the button, if you can hear, it makes a slight beep. We'll do that again as well as a light that indicates that you've actually pushed it. Signs all have retro reflective sheeting, and you can notice if we do a close-up here, at the point of the divergence, we have the keep left sign, not a common MUTCD sign. Now we're observing southbound traffic, about to go through the divergence point, or just upstream on the bridge, and you can see how it looks like you're in the UK as traffic is driving on the left, the side of the road, as opposed to the right side of the road. Traffic appears to be moving smoothly. Once we get a positive signal indication, we'll proceed into the median and then process right down the middle in between the Jersey barrier. Now that we have the pedestrian walk sign, we're going to proceed across the southbound lanes of Missouri 13. Here we go. You can see the maneuver that's being made by the northbound traffic as they're crossing over at the divergence point. This, of course, is a two-phase signal system, as indicated by either the traffic crossing this way or crossing the other way, having the right-of-way to progress. The other ways, of course, have a free left or a free right. The free left because you have the traffic crossing on the opposite side of the road. And as we can see here, the bridge is even friendly for cyclists, as well as pedestrians. Traffic continues to cross over executing their divergence at the diamond. And we see the cyclist there presses the pedestrian push button as he proceeds across and waits for the signal. Today we have a very obedient cyclist who is not disobeying the signal, and for that we applaud him. Here we have our exiting traffic off of 44, proceeding to make a free left turn as the semi comes up here, and we'll watch him make that free left turn. He proceeds around, and you can see the off-tracking of the tires into the painted apron on the interior side of that left turn. A wonderful truck accommodation for loads just as that. Traffic continues. And you can see at this point here, at about 3.30 on a Tuesday afternoon, we've got no exit queue here off 44, and our queues along the bridge are very minimal. As you proceed across the bridge, we 
we of course see we have traffic traveling on the right against us and to the left with us as we walk, walk along the bridge we'll notice that there is in median LED lights to be able to illuminate the pathway in the evening for the pedestrians or cyclists that choose to use this pedestrian bridge. And again we have drainage here and you can tell there's a slight crown on the sidewalk through the median so that the water will drain away from the center line of the, of the sidewalk and then exiting out through the median culverts. Looking at southbound traffic here, we can see we've got a queue backed up almost near the signal. However, there is still an additional lane of capacity uh, to the driver's left side that is not being utilized currently. Once we reach the middle, you can see we've got a beautiful view looking out over Interstate 44. As we look to the east, and as we look to the west, a wonderful observation point as we continue around, we can see the people here and the people in the vehicle waving for the camera. And as we observe here, we've got this white Jeep here that just executed that three left turn that is made possible by the divergence of the diamond. As traffic continues through. We've got minimal queue links here and that queue for southbound traffic quickly dissipated because of the signal being only a two-phase signal, making it very easy and very efficient for the move free movement of traffic along the corridor. At the northbound divergence point here, we've got the northbound traffic proceeding to their right, diverging across. You notice how there's a very eloquently placed signal that uses an, angle, an angled arrowhead to clearly indicate in a non-confusing manner that traffic is to continue to the right side and that traffic is as well as the use of white paint on the curbs followed by yellow paint just downstream of the divergence point to make it unambiguous for the driver where they should be proceeding as well as the dotted lines that proceed through the intersection to provide positive guidance to the drivers as they traverse the location. Obviously there's also a no left turn indication sign that's provided And of course, drivers are free to make that left turn as they come across the bridge to be able to proceed on the 44 or to continue all the way across. Now, as a pedestrian here, we once again have a pedestrian push button signal actuation that we can press to be able to cross the intersection and to be able to cross. However, we see here in the video, we have a driver who has clearly disobeyed the stop line and is located inside the pedestrian crosswalk, making it inaccessible for drivers creating a possible confusing situation here of where should the vehicle go to be able to storage at the intersection. Because of the divergence point, you can store behind the dotted line. However, there is, of course, the unambiguous stop bar. That should not be confusing. Clearly, we have a driver that was confused by the presence of a pedestrian and how to handle this location for the storage of their vehicle to allow access to the pedestrian through the crosswalk. This indeed might become a problem in the future. As Once we receive the positive walk signal, we can proceed across the intersection and proceed to continue northbound across the pedestrian. And we can see we got the once again the raised truncated pedestrian domes. And we have three signal traffic signal control cabinets that provide the positive signal control for the various signals in the location. We'll notice here, just looking here as the vehicle proceeds down, we've got a shark's tooth yield line that will supplement the yield signal to provide further reinforcement to the drivers using proper MUTCD approved signage. As we proceed across, once again, we have the truncated domes. Located at the top of the of the northern sign bridge is we have a pan tilt zoom camera mounted on the back side of the sign bridge. Presumably that's connected into the into the Springfield, Missouri Traffic Management Center to be able to provide a real-time view of how traffic is being handled here in this corridor. 